Today in this video, I'm about to show y'all the best settings for a park, my team, my career, playing online, and etc. It's gonna be basic settings, coach settings, controller settings, it's gonna be camera, offense settings, defense settings, the freelancers, everything. So I'm gonna explain in detail to y'all so you understand, so you become a better player. All right, you don't have to be a 90%, 95, 85%. It could be any percent except 50. You don't want to be that, but you're going to be at least 65 or above to, to become a better player. Okay, we're going to go to the settings first. All right, uh, make sure y'all practice on Superstar or Hall of Fame in the TKU if you want to work on your jump shot. Now, fatigue on, uh, we don't worry about that. Feedback. Some people want it off, but you want to see some feedback in the bottom of the screen while you're playing. Make sure you put all shots. So that way you can see everything. All right, camera shake is on, is on your personal preference. You, I, I like to have it on because just in case you want to make it shake and make them miss, but you don't want the camera shaking on the free throw line, you can turn that off. All right, perfect release animations. Some people rather have it on, some people have it off. It's up to you. Now let's see the takeover icon. You have a I have it above the player. I want to see how that look, but most people have it on the left side or the right. Doesn't matter. All right, let's see. All right, motion motion blur. Wait, hold on. Motion blur. Make sure you put that at zero. All right. Some people want to have it 50, but make sure it's zero because you're gonna feel like you you delay. It's gonna be some weird stuff. That's only for offline, but you playing online. Make sure it's on zero. All right, next step, coaching settings. Oh man, make sure you have adaptive coaching engine off because if you have it in like if you have it on offense and defense, sometimes they have it on automatic, but make sure you have it off. But you want an offense and defense, you want the, the coaching engine to do it for you. Why not? If you don't care, but if you're a competitive player, make sure you put that off. Sometimes competitive players don't care, they don't mess with that center, just leave it there, like off in the defense. But personally, have it off so that way they don't mess up your settings and things like that. Because some people don't do their settings, they don't care. So it's up to you. But if I were you, make sure you put it off. I put mine off. Timeout, you, I have mine auto, but you can put yours manual if you want to. Play minutes, manual, substitution, man. You don't want no computer or the CPU or the AI do substitution for you because that's like with Steph Curry, for example, you drop 15 points in the first quarter, the coach will be like, oh, sit down. No, keep him on the floor. He's fired right now. So 2K on some weird stuff. When you're on fire, they bench you anyway, which is stupid. You'd be like, what the hell? So make sure you have that menu. Rotation, keep that there. Now, if you play on one in plays or freelance, make sure you put all plays so that way you see the diagram on the court. And now, play vision. Make sure you're on full so that way you can see the diagram once again so you understand where the players are going to go. Now, play coin meshes, you can have it off or you want to show it on the right, uh, on the top right screen so that way you know the play that you're running. Like quick four horn. If you put quick four horn, it will show it on the top right screen so you can see it, what play you're running. That way you won't be confused. All right, offense and calling. Put that manual. Defense and calling. You can put that auto. You can put that auto or manual. It's up to you. Late game fouling. Put that in menu because you never know you're gonna be in a close game. So make sure you put that in menu so that way you know when to foul. Some people be like, if you put it on auto, they be fouling for no reason. Even though the game, even though you like say you lose right or you lost already, they still fouling. Why? The game's over. Now team communication. Uh. You can have that on, or you know, offense or defense up to you. But it depends on the situation. I don't think it do nothing. All right, freelance is, all right, freelance series order. You can have it dynamic or static. It's up to you how you want it. But dynamic, dynamic is kind of better. And repeat the success meaning that if you successfully scoring, they're gonna keep doing it over and over and over, and they cannot stop it. So you, you could repeat that or you could put do not repeat. It's up to you. Now, team cut to the basket. I'm glad they added this feature, finally. It's almost like Space to Floor feature back in 2K18 and it took out in 2K19. So it been it been about four years since it had been in the game. I don't know why they took that feature out in the first place because they want the AI randomly to cut to the basket for no damn reason. So now you don't have to deal with that no more. So that's good, especially if you want to come freelance 
I'm a five out, is just stand there at the spot. Or like say you're going to the corner and they at the corner, they get out of your way. So you in their way, they get out of your way. That's how it goes. So make sure you have that in menu so that way the AI don't school you over on the on the turnover. And personally, I have a turnover ball like that ever since that they, they add that feature back in the setting. So that's good. Make sure you keep that in menu. Okay, now controller settings. Here we go. Vibration is on your personal preference, but I like to have it on just in case. And layup timing, you can have it. Some people have it on um, shots only, but now you can put shots and layups. But you want shots only, you could do that. You don't, you don't want tiny layups, it could be automatic. Let it be. You don't have to. But this right here is questionable. They changed the name, but this one, this one right here where it says set point, it means um, early. And jump means very early. It means that it's very fast. Very fast. I don't think you want that. You're going to mess up your timing. Set point is, is, is a good spot to aim, especially if you play playing online or my team. You're going to need that. Now, if you're a park player, you can have it pushed because it's a 3, 3v3. So they're not going to close out you that's fast because it's a lot of space. So most park players have it on push, but if, you play, if you're a playing online player or my team player, make sure you have set point because... Most of these guys got slow jumpers, so you're gonna need a set point so you get your release timing off before they contest you. Because the defense closed out so fast, you were like, damn, man, I was in the air a long time ago. It is contest you from there, so you don't want that. And this one, release is very, very slow. You don't want that. You ask yourself to get an L in this game. All right, jump shot meter. Oh, man, this is controversial. Me, I'm personally, this had it off. You, only, you really don't need a meter nowadays. You really don't. The meter is going to throw you off and you're going to stop missing. I don't see people hit contested shots with a meter on. I don't see that. So most likely, you want to hit contested shots, a tough shot, make sure you have your meter off. And you have a problem shooting with the meter off, just go practice. Go to the 2KU. Practice with the, with the player. That's all. Layer timing. I have mine off, but you can leave it on if you want to. Most people have it on nowadays. So why not have it on? Free throw meter, make sure it's off. I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna give you an example. If you're using Shaq, for example, if you have the free throw line and you're using the meter, you're gonna miss 90% of the time. So if you have your meter off and Shaq is on the line, you can easily time it, you're gonna green it. So I, if I were y'all, just turn it off. You'll be a lot better off. You're gonna be making your free throws better that way. Now, this right here is all this right here where it says shot me location, all that is perfect for preference it's up to you now if you want to change your perfect release style you can put a flame ball don't it matter perfect release on you know uh what else you could change the sound effects of your per perfect release like power blast i like having power blast you could change whatever you want jazz jazzy's pop surprise you know stuff like that you know the rest uh all that is perfect preference oh no 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 actually all right, this is the, this is the dribble this is the um the, the dribble tips right so the post it make sure it's on absolute because if you put it on camera related relative that means that if you're in the corner and you're trying to dribble the ball it's going to change the control so you don't want that so make sure it's absolute at all time because if you everywhere in the court they're going to keep the same controls all right so that's what that means uh all ball offense and mode absolute Double team reaction, just have it on menu or auto, depends. Uh, help help defense button function, double team, you you call for help, double, doesn't matter. I right, call for a pick versus fade, make sure you have that in menu, because sometimes you have that in auto, they decide to cut in their own. Like, even though you put pick and fade, they're still cutting in a weird angle, so make sure you have it on, on menu. All right, what else, what else? Um, defensive strength. Uh, I just mess around with it, but I put like at least 30, 25, depends on the situation. Box out, box out, assist strength, make sure it's on 50 or, you know, 85, 75, depends. You know, you just play with it. Park, if you play park, it's very different than playing with AIs with my team and playing online. So it's very different. So just mess with it. If I were y'all, just put it around 60 or 50 or leave it alone. All right, passing, you can make it open or directional. Or you can adjust it yourself. All right, next, 
is the camera. If you want to adjust your camera, all you got to do is go here. Because a lot of people be asking me this years ago. Like, for example, it's 2K camera. What this does, I'm going to give you an example. You can zoom out or in like this. You see? Uh, now, you want it low, you can make it low all the way to 1. It's up to you. Like this. Now, you want that up in camera, like that, that um, when you shoot the ball, when you shoot the ball, right? When you hit the rim, it goes up. The camera changes. It goes up and down. So, if you want that, go to fixed height and put that off. Right? Now, watch this. You see, you see how the camera goes up and down? Okay, now, they have 2K low. They have the baseline. I don't know who's going to play baseline in online gaming. And they got a broadcast. You got some people playing broadcast to this day. So you want to switch to that? There you go. Broadcast, broadcast zoom. You got drive, hike. You know, they got all types of camera. You know what I'm saying? So, but I prefer this camera, camera because why not? You see everything on the court. Now, like I said, if you want that up and down shape while you shoot, make sure you have it off. All right, next, we're going to go to defensive settings. No, next, we're going to go to defensive settings. Now, I'm going to explain you in detail. When you say team focus, you can have it custom. It's up to you. But use your right stick. You see, it says no threes. You put automatic. Or you put strength to floor. You want the if you want to do the defense a sentence for you, or you want the you know the, the CPU whatever do things for you. You use the right stick. You can choose whatever you want. Like staying home. You got strength to floor. You got no threes. You got the switch defense. A custom. So if you want to do it in custom, custom. Make sure you go there. If you want to do it automatically for you. Just choose the one that it will help you play better. And that's it. You don't have to, you don't have to do no sentence at all. Now, where it says on board pressure, all right, some people had it automatic, but if you really want to do your settings, you can put gap. That means that when somebody cannot shoot, you just sag off. Moderate, that means that it goes back and forth. It's like in the middle where you do moderate on ball D. If you decide to off ball, a lot of people, a lot of people be off ball these days, so they put it on moderate. To trick you play tight it means that you're not really on the guy but you give him like a little bit of space but not too much room so you like between now a smother defense it means that you on the guy like Steph curry for example you have like Kawhi Leonard they put like smother defense so that way he get no room at all now off ball gap means that he, he gonna sag off on that guy that means that he cannot shoot so he gonna stay right there in the middle to protect or I mean protect the drive or defend that or create some help on the baseline whatever whatever it is that's what it means leave him it's probably, it's like the same thing almost by the way it's like back and forth like like this this is like that and tight me that you on on the off ball guy mean that you, you make sure that he don't hit you with a backdoor cut but well, they still get hit with a backdoor cut but not that often so you gotta be careful with that to prevent that from backdoor cut, you just put gap. But watch out for the open shooter. You only you only do that. They can't really shoot the ball that good. You don't do that against Clay Thompson and Steph. It's not gonna work. Cause they're not gonna do no backdoor cut with with Clay Thompson anyway. And denial ball, you only put denial ball on shooters. Don't put it on slashes like LeBron, Michael Jordan, Giannis, or probably Dame Dollar. You don't want to do that. You want to get killed with backdoor cuts every time. So be careful with that. All right, fourth direction. You can make them go middle or baseline. Hash, most likely I go no hash. No. Oh, you can't change it right now. But, alright, say they wanted to play on on ball screens as a center or guards. Make sure you, you can put switch or you could go over. Because most of the time they want like a three point place. So you make sure you go over the, that way you can stop the shooters. Or you could put switch. But my team, you could get ready to put in switch. Especially with OP cards that's coming out. But playing now is a little bit different in skill. So you gotta be careful when you put switch. All right, stay attached. Make sure you put yes, yes or always, cause they changed the um, they changed the sentence from last year. So you put it always. I'm gonna tell you why, because especially on playing online, playing now, 
if they see the, the mismatch, they're going to go to that mismatch right away because it's hard to score these days. So you got to be careful with that. So when you put always, you're going to prevent that. So that way, the big guys don't guard the small guy. He stay on a man. Say say like Kawhi Leonard guard the Curry. If I put a stay attached, he's going to be on Curry on all time. Either he get hit with the screen or not. Or he go over, he go under. He's he going to be on, court, uh, on Curry. He's not going to be stuck on the screens or switch over. All right, all ball screens, you do the same thing. You go over, or you switch, it's up to you. Post, you can put that, you can put behind so you get the rebound most of the time. Or you play passing lanes, or you or you um, you um play help defense. Because you can't control everybody. You can't control everybody. So the CPU got to put, put in some work too. All right, screen help. Uh, most likely, it depends on the situation, but most likely, you don't want no help at all. Just put no help, dry help, no cut of help rules, no. But it depends on how the point play. He's just like rim running into the rim all day or slashing to the rim. You might as well put help defense. But you play with a team like the Warriors or shooting teams like the Nuggets, make sure you put no help D. But you play a team that has slashers and they can't shoot, just put help defense and get it over with. And anything else, you can put the, the trenches of defense on no threes, it's up to you. Alright, next up is going to be offensive settings. This one's going to be good. And like I say, make sure your adapting coaching engine is off. Alright, now if you want to choose a play for your favorite player, make sure you go to uh, play selection. Alright, say you want to take out pass the screen away. And you want to want to play, if you want to want to play with Damian Litter, you press you press A or you press X on the PlayStation. You go, you go down. Say you want to run, uh, let's say, a uh, fist flare, or you want to run. Matter of fact, let's go to fist flare real quick. You put fist, uh, fist flare, or oh, dang. When it says assign play, you press Y, you press Y, and you press A, just like that. But you don't have to. That's the thing. It's up to you. If you want to assign that player only to one place, you press Y or you press Triangle for PlayStation, and then you choose a player. And after that, it plays one for Dame only. Now, if you don't want to play that one for Dame only, you can take it out and use this one play with every with everybody. It doesn't matter. Or you can choose now. Um, you can choose many plays you want on your favorite playlist. Like pitch, um, punch fist 15. You got um, 89 fist 13. Uh, what else they got? You got um, ISO 5 out. You can do that if you want to. You can do ISO 12 flare. You know, and then after that. Oh, I'm tripping. If you want to remove it, you want to change your mind, you press X right here on the Xbox. You press X. I'm tripping. Right? So you want to do this again. And this time you're going to pick. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. A oh, quick stagger. Let's, let's pick that one. Now, if you want to choose a freelance, a, a freelance, make sure you, you press A, and then you can choose any freelance you want. Like five out, you go, you got a four out, one in. You got a three out after. Three out after means that you put powerful ascenders that cannot shoot. So make sure they're inside the, the paint. So that way they don't be out there in the in the perimeter and they can't shoot. Cause otherwise, you know, guys want an off ball. And plus, you get many rebounds you want if you keep missing. Depends what kind of big man you play with. Okay, five out means that all the guys stand out the um the, the 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 three point behind the three point line on the perimeter. Bucks 2018. You got Denver 2018. Jazz motion. You know the rest. So let's get let's give an example. I, say I put pace. Paste there, then I could put five out. Sometimes you need to change your freelance in the middle of the game, it depends what kind of defensive scheme he won against you. So, like, say he plays zone, then you could do like flow, whatever, or you could do 21 delay. So, sometimes you need to change up your, your freelance sometimes too. You can always play with the same freelance if he cannot stop you. So, you could choose four freelances, four. Now, now let's go to series. Series, I don't we really mess with that. You got to practice on that on your own on TKU. 
So you gotta practice these things like the C point series, the chest flare. So make sure you work on, on these as soon as possible. If you wanna work on the, on the series, like a five hour series and things like that. All right, say you wanna use your favorite plays. You go to the D-pad button, you press left, and then you go down where it says favorite plays. You, you choose a button, like A, me, A means quick isolation, like this, I'm gonna show you. Quick isolation. Or you go to floppy, you press X, motion. All right, your favorite plays right here, you press RB, you press LB, and then after that, you press RT to go to the next page. But you gotta do it very fast while you're in the game. So you gotta get used to it. You press A, you press X, you press Y to one of your favorite plays. That's it, that's all you gotta do, it's very simple. You gotta do all that extra. Like this, for example, you choose a player, and then you go to um, post up, you press the, the right trigger and all that. It's too much work, like look at all this. But some people do it that way, but it's up to you to do it that way. You press, I'm gonna show you something. You press L, you press LB, you press any button, uh, any player you wanna choose and wanna play with. Like for example, you, with Giannis, you press RT, and then you choose to play for him. So you could do it that way, or you do a favorite plays with the with the um, D-pad button. You press left. Now, if you want one your your freelance, you want to change the, your freelance during the middle of the game. You press you go to D-pad button right, and then you press RB where it says freelance, and then you go to pace five out flow, or you know, or you go to twenty one delay. You press you press LB on that. You press Y on the flow and change your freelance around. So that's all you gotta do, guys.